Hey guys, welcome back to the house where we talk news, celebrities, and hot topics. I'm excited to be back with you guys on this Monday night. Y'all, we have to get into the Real Housewives of Atlanta. It's kind of looking like Candy and LaToya are having a falling out. And then Candy Burris Tucker is also speaking out on the whole T.I. and Tiny allegations. And then I want to dissect Kenya Moore hair care and her tweets from last night regarding last night's episode. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and let's get straight into the video. All right, y'all. So before we get into the mess, um, can we talk about Phoebe? Okay, because on last night's episode, y'all, we got into some things when it came to the basketball of the wives, okay? And of course, we mentioned Phoebe, right? And for the life of me, I could not understand why Phoebe had been asked back for this current season of Basketball Wives because what does she bring to the show? Like, I'm just confused at the situation. But y'all, last night when I was looking at y'all's comments, I was dying of laughter, okay? Because I cannot believe all of the nicknames that you guys had for Phoebe, okay? And so my three favorites were Furby, okay? The little gremlin looking dolls, uh, Frisbee, okay? Like the thing that you throw. And then some of y'all was calling Phoebe a furball. And I'm just like, Okay, now y'all know y'all are wrong for that one. Okay, and so we need an official nickname for Miss Phoebe when we talk about basketball wives. And so let's do a poll down in the comments. Do you guys want us to call Phoebe Furby, Frisbee, or Furball? Okay, let me know. All right, you guys. So let's get into the Real Housewives of Atlanta. It's looking like Candy and Latoya are having some sort of falling out. And, you know, I'm kind of like here for it because Latoya ain't nobody's friend, okay? She ain't nobody friends but Kenya. And she's using Kenya too to, you know, raise her status up on the Housewives. But that's a different story for another day. Um, but Miss Candy Burst Tucker was on last night's episode of Watch What Happens Live with the very messy Andy cohen aka nini leaks bestie okay or ex bestie um and he played a game with candy and i think it was called you know what is the most annoying thing about each of your castmates okay and so when she got to miss latoya ali candy just let it rip okay candy let it rip and she said she is not cool with latoya at the moment because latoya has stood her up okay to hang out latoya has stood her up three times since filming has wrapped. And when I saw that, okay, I just got very annoyed at the situation. I'm like, okay, Candy, um, if I'm not mistaken, you have three restaurants, okay, OLG1, OLG2, and Blaze Steak and Seafood. If I'm not mistaken, you do have Tags Boutique. If I'm not mistaken, Candy has five kids, okay, that she got to take care of. She got Todd, her husband, who requires a lot of attention. She has, you know, Mama Joyce, who needs money every other week. She got Don Juan and Carmen to entertain. And Candy has a best friend who's fake as hell, aka Kenya. Okay, and so Candy is very busy. Okay, this is a very busy woman. She doesn't have time to spare. And so the fact that, you know, LaToya is really being rude, okay, very nasty and very rude, right? When it comes to disrespecting Candy and her time, I just, I hate to see it, okay? I hate it for her. And so, um, you know, LaToya, you tried it, okay? How the city girls say, uh, you tried it, that shit ain't work. Okay, I'm not trying to call Latoya a hoe or anything, but I'm just saying, like, girl, like, you really think you should be out here standing up Miss Candy Burst Tucker, a whole Grammy Award winning artist and songwriter? During the whole episode of Watch What Happens Live, you know, Candy was trying to be very lighthearted about the situation and she was trying to be very jokey jokey with it. But um, I could tell by the inflection in Candy's crackly voice that uh, she is very bothered by the fact that LaToya has stood her up three times. And so the status of Candy and LaToya's relationship is, you know, on hiatus, okay? It is non-existent. The page does not exist. And so also on Watch What Happens Live, okay, the very messy Andy Cohen, um, you know, of course had to ask about the T.I. and Tiny allegations, which I appreciate. Because you guys, when I first heard about the whole T.I. and Tiny stuff, right, with them allegedly assaulting, you know, women and drugging women and trafficking and things of that nature, I immediately, okay, thought of two people. And those two people was Candy and Todd 
Tucker, right? And I thought of Candy and Todd, you know, during this whole fiasco with T.I. and Tiny because, number one, T.I. and Tiny is best friends with Candy and Todd, right? Um, and we also know that Candy and Todd are freaky deaky in the same way that, uh, you know, T.I. and Tiny are. We know T.I. and Tiny are freaks, okay? We know uh, Candy and Todd are freaks. And so it makes sense that they would be, you know, a best friend couple, and so, um, yeah, I thought about Candy and Todd because I'm like, okay, what does Candy know about this situation regarding these allegations with her best friends? And so when Andy Cohen, Nene's best friend, asked about it, uh, Candy just simply said that she is irritated with society, okay, for being so quick to portray people as guilty until proven innocent or otherwise okay and so candy doesn't like the fact that everybody is always trying to come down on people with no facts and no evidence right and then candy also goes on to say that tiny is her sister and she has never personally seen her do any of the things that have been alleged okay and so you know what candy i respect it I respect her stance. I respect her for standing up for her friends, right? Because honestly, we don't know what the hell is going on with T.I. and Tiny. I mean, for me personally, I don't know what to believe. I really don't. But like I said before, I just know that Candy knew something about the situation, okay? I knew she knew something. And so, you know, it's whatever. She wants to stand up for her best friends and that's what you're supposed to do. But what I will say is that some of the accusers of T.I. and Tiny are hiring Y'all's favorite lawyer, Miss Lisa Bloom. Okay, Miss Lisa Bloom is representing, I think, two of the alleged victims slash accusers, okay, of T.I. and Tiny. And so my whole thing is, girl, Candy, is your friends guilty or is they not? Okay, and so let me know what you guys think about that situation down in the comments below. Also, let me know how y'all feel about Candy and Latoya's relationship, okay? Latoya, how you gonna stand this girl up three separate times during a whole Cronova virus uh, pandemic and Candy literally brought you on to the show? Without Candy bringing you on Roa, we over here at the House of Aaron would not even be speaking of your name right now, okay? You would just be another YouTuber, right? Not our favorite YouTuber, just another YouTuber, okay? So let me know what you guys think. Now, let's get into Miss Kenya Moore hair care. Because, of course, y'all's favorite, you know, entrepreneur, boss lady, um, Miss Kenya Moore Hair Care, had a lot to say last night on Twitter when she was live tweeting throughout, uh, you know, the episode. And, um, you know, I wanted to dissect it and really read them out and talk about it with you guys because I actually kind of understand where Kenya is coming from when it comes to a lot of this stuff. You guys know that on last night's episode, the girls were mad. Okay, and I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but the whole episode was all about Kenya, Kenya, Kenya. Okay, and not Portia, Portia, Portia. And the girls were just upset. And so Kenya had a lot of explaining to do for disappearing on the girls and being a terrible host on the girls trip and not extending the option for, you know, the other women to bring their children. Okay, and so let's read out a couple of her tweets from last night. This tweet, I'll go ahead and put up on the screen is about Marlo because Marlo so desperately wants to rekindle her friendship with Kenya. But Kenya Moore tweeted and she said, it's not that I don't give a F about Marlo. She apologized for the mother not wanting me comment, but the insults and attacks kept coming. We are in a better place now, as you will see play out on Roa. Now, I would have to 100% agree with y'all's fave miss kenya more hair care okay because she's telling straight facts okay straight facts um ain't no lies told in this tweet you know marlo did apologize for the mother not wanting her comment okay we remember they were on the glamping trip and marlo said i mean we can see why your own mom didn't want you okay your own mama didn't want you which was so mean like, Marlo, you don't say that to somebody else. That's just gross. But Marlo did apologize about the situation. And the reason why Kenya still doesn't see it from Marlo, even after the apology, is because Marlo has continuously talked about, you know, Kenya Moore, uh, you know, and the water in her hair care products. She's talked about Kenya Moore and her botched lopsided booty, right? She's talked about Kenya Moore and her skin, okay, giving her the nickname Skinya. 
right? And so Marlo has just talked trash about this lady. And so I, you know, agree with Kenya in the fact that, girl, you trying to be my friend, but you stay attacking me. Even this season, she was commending Drew on still being a working actress while shading Kenya, saying that the acting jobs are dried up for her. All right, you guys. So it is what it is. It's going to be what it's going to be. Now, this next week by Miss Kenya Moore Haircare, I did not like, okay? I'm like, Kenya, I was, you know, defending you against Marlo, but now you took it too far. Okay, talking about Portia, Portia, Portia. Uh, Kenya tweeted, and I quote, her mothering is better than our mothering. Okay, quoting Portia. Uh, she says, is this about guilt? It's the nuances in what people say that speaks the truth. Hashtag Roa, right? And just in case, you know, for the slow people in the back, and if you can't read between the lines, Kenya Moore is basically implying or insinuating that uh, Portia is admitting that she's not as good of a mother to her baby girl as Kenya is to hers. And I just don't like that, okay? I just don't like that. Because Portia was telling the truth. Kenya, you are acting like your parenting is above everybody else's. We all want to have our kids and we all don't want to be away from our kids, but we did that because this is our job. Okay, filming Real Housewives of Atlanta is our job. And so I don't agree with that tweet. And so the next tweet says, I did apologize. Talking about disappearing during the girl's trip. She says, this is purely disrespectful, passive, aggressive, and nasty. I don't have the help at home. I put my child first. Brooklyn will always be number one. People just said that they don't care about my friendship. So please stop acting like you care. And y'all, okay, I hate to do this. I hate to do this, but I'm gonna have to give another point to Kenya. Okay. Now, I totally agree with Portia and Candy and the rest of the girls and the fact that, girl, you are a terrible host. You just don't disappear. You do have the means and resources to find a nanny for Brooklyn. I mean, how old is Brooklyn? Like two, three years old at this point, right? You've had three years to find a nanny and you still struggling, okay? I'm just, you know, asking the questions that people want the answers to. What happened to Brandon, Auntie Lori, and Cousin Shay? I'm just asking, okay? I'm just asking the questions. And so I do understand where the girls are coming from at the same time, okay? Her child does come first. That's just it, okay? That's just that on Mary Had a Little Lamb. And I agree with the notion that if y'all don't care about Kenya and if she's not your friend like that, okay? Tanya, Portia, Drew, then why do y'all care, okay? Why are we beating a dead horse? Like, yes, I understand that we're upset, but um, honestly, if Kenya really ain't my friend, then uh, why we keep talking about it, okay? Why we keep bringing it up? Our mouths are getting dry just talking about the same damn things. And then you guys, in the last tweet, uh, Kenya is spilling a lot of production tea. She says, I don't need to give them an option to bring their kids or not. No one can tell you not to bring your child, not production, not an employer, nor me. And no one brought their child on the next trip, even though they were told they could. Okay. And so Kenya's basically saying that this outrage is fake. Okay. This is fake outrage because the girls don't like me. Um, and I know that to be true. Okay. In the words of Kenya, because no one brought their child on the next girl's trip. And so for me, I just kind of see both sides like Chanel. Like I do kind of feel like some of this outrage is fake. I feel like some of the girls just want to be mad at Kenya because Kenya is just easy to be mad at and nobody likes her, including me. But I'm going to stand up for Kenya just this one time and say that some of this outrage is just made up for TV child, okay? And you guys, did you notice last night how Candy and Cynthia are kind of breaking away from Kenya? Okay, it's looking like the alliance is breaking up. Even Kenya's girlfriend Latoya was in the corner co-signing and nodding, talking about some yep. Mm-hmm, that's right. Mm-hmm. Right? When all of the women were going in on Kenya Moore. Yeah, the alliance is breaking up. The alliance is breaking up. And I am all the way here for it. And then also, did y'all notice how Portia's the new queen? Okay, Portia is the new Nini. She's the new gatherer. Okay, she's the shepherd amongst all the sheep. She's the puppet master. Portia really is the puppet master because y'all, the whole episode, Portia's sole mission was to rally the girls against Kenya and it actually worked, okay? It worked. The whole episode, she was just trying to get the girls mad at Kenya and it worked and I was kind of here for it because I'm like, girl, like, 
I'm here for Portia, you know, being the new queen of the show. And so let me know what you guys think about the whole situation. It is truly a hot ass mess, okay? I'm not choosing sides. I'm not on team Kenya and I'm not on team everybody else. I see both sides and everybody's perspective is valid, okay? So I'm gonna wrap it up right here. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and don't forget to create a great day. Bye, you guys.